Hi, Judy from Witch Peacecraft. Welcome to today's video. It's a bit of a catch up on the weeks that was, what I finished off in 2021 and what I've taken into 2022. Um, I'm a little behind on all that stuff, but here goes. First of all, welcome to all those new subscribers. It's great to have you on board. A few people have joined lately, so I hope you enjoy the content and you stay with us following my yarn adventures and sometimes life adventures. Anyway, guys, let's get started. First of all, the UFO landed from those 20, well, what, 20 whips I had is my Christmas tea tree tea cozy. I knew I was going to fall over that. My Christmas tree tea cozy. I started this in 2019. I think about November 2019. It was almost finished. I decided I would sew all these bobbles on and I think that was my undoing because I did one side and I was sick of it and I put it down for a while, thought I'd get back to it and I forgot about it. I finally finished the other side, made the star and finished my Christmas tree tea cozy. It is got stuffed with fibre fill from about there up. But yes, ta -da! cup of tea anyone? This is not a set pattern, I cheated. I adapted a pattern from Bag O' Day. It is her unisex Christmas tree beanie pattern. I just had to work out the mouths for the openings for the spout and the handle. But yeah, I really like it. So bring on Christmas in July. I have a Christmas tree ready to go. UFO number one from the 20 whips, the ever reducing 20 whips. UFO number two was I was doing Nan's next not luck of the draw four and she did her 20 weeks. She actually gave us 22 weeks of colours, but it was not big enough and I had to keep going. So luck of the draw is she gets you to pick eight colours and your ninth colour is your base colour. I put them on a whip card like that and every week she draws out a lucky number and that's the color you use so for example if she draws out one that was my color i had a lot of these greens in my stash that's why i picked these colors these are my whip card the pattern i was doing was yarn inspira yarn inspirations tweedle do blanket i wanted to try some mosaic knitting and this is what came up I hope you can see that. I'm not sure you can. I'll do it like that. This lighting's bad with the weather. The light keeps flickering. That was the pattern. So here it is, the finished object. Ta-da! I love the way the colours turn out. And most people would know I don't like greens, but I do like the way this is all turned out. It was my way of using up the greens in my stash. It's quite long because I made a wheelchair blanket, um, which is a certain width and a certain length for the person in the wheelchair. Now, I have said before I like to keep my um, ends on the sides, and I have put a closed-in border down the edges, down the sides, and left the top with the, and bottom with the ribbing. I really like it. I think I would mosaic knit again. The only thing with it is the pattern is one side. It's not reversible. The beauty of this pattern is the floats on the other side are very, very small and tight, which made it ideal for a wheelchair blanket. Um, it is large. If, I, and I doubt it, the rain stops and the sun shines, I'll try and take a photo of it and put it at the end of this video. But if it's not, I'll put it on Instagram and the Facebook group page when I can get a good photo of it. I really do think it turned out really nice. I am looking forward to Nan's next knots. I guess you might call it luck of the draw five. Um, she's starting it in February this year. So I've been sort of going through my stash thinking about eight colors to use because I like to use my stash yarn rather than go out and buy more yarn. So that was another UFO landed, UFO number three. I made the sober granny blanket in the purple and lavender and yellow pound of love. But before I started this, I'd started this one. It was the first sober granny blanket I was supposed to be making. And I started it in this 
Marvel 8-ply print, 8-ply is like DK or 3-weight, this print colour. And then I realised I didn't have enough in my stash. So I went to buy more. It's discontinued. So then I had to rethink colour combos and I wasn't going to buy a yarn. So I went back to my stash and I came up with this. This is how the combo works. So that is another Marvel print in the pink and white, like a, a really bright pink and white. The white is a Hobie baby soft white that I have a lot of. The print Marvel is beautiful and baby soft. I would use this again in the colours they currently have, but I'd make sure I'd buy enough before it got discontinued. Reeves said a lavender would have been better, like a lavender colour to match. But um, I wasn't going to buy more yarn. Let me know if you think that colour combo works. I think it's a little pink and bright and not quite balanced. But let me know what you think in the comments below, guys. The Sober Granny is a tutorial by Krista at the Secret, Secret Yarnery. And I love it. Because I can sit and watch TV and just crochet away. The edges will be always straight, both sides. And she gives you this awesome border to finish it with. No doubt I will be making more of these and showing you them in different colour combos. But seriously, if you're a beginner crocheter and you're starting to develop your skills, this is the perfect tutorial for you to do a lap gan. You cannot mess up the edges on this. It is awesome. Now, all the um, patterns and tutorials and things, if you're new to the channel, I put them in the links in the description below, all the links. So if there's something you want to try or like, look down in the description below this video and you will can click on the links. They generally work if I get them right. So out of my 20 whips, I took seven into 2022, or I have taken seven. Now, three of those are queen size blankets that I do when I feel like doing a bit and letting them grow. They're just projects. I, one is for Reeves and it's scraps, so I usually have to wait for the dark blue scraps. And the other is something I started and, yeah, I'll finish it when I finish it. And another one I think is for charity. The rest, I haven't decided if I'll continue on. They, I did actually frog for, well... I didn't frog them. I decided they needed frogging. They go to my ball winder and frogger thing. He sits there and does it for me, watching television at night. It just costs me a beer. He's a great ball winder. I don't need to buy one. Um, but yeah, he frogged them for me. Mainly they were projects I started that I didn't like. I went to do them and finish them. And I'm like, oh, why finish something you don't like? Because for me, it's a hobby of enjoyment. And if I'm not enjoying it, then I shouldn't be making it. So, yeah, I have seven left and hopefully um, some of those I will finish because I like them. I just couldn't decide and I never got around to having another go at them. I have eight whips in total on the go because I have started my Make Along Rock 2022 AU. And I make a project and I've started a project that I will be doing for the year. And yeah, I love it. I love how people got excited and pictures are being posted on the Facebook group page already. Um, and I just love the fact that people are so excited about the make-along. After doing such a big one last year, I didn't think people would be. So it's great. And if you're new to the channel, I'll put a link up here for you to check out the Rock 2022 make-along. You can join. Even if you're a beginner. You could just make squares and learn how to join them at the end of the year and make a blanket, a lap gan. You could make a beanie a month. I know, um, who is it? Barbara is making scarves, a scarf, a fortnight or maybe a month. She makes one a fortnight, that'll be 24 scarves. She makes one a month, that's 12. That'll be donated to charity. I know, um... Abby at Blue Heart Crochet let me know that she she volunteers at the library and she's going to make bookmarks. I thought that was awesome to donate to the library where she volunteers. That's just, just such great ideas coming out of the make-along. So, yeah, 
check out the video. You can make anything. So that's about the yarn. Now, I had an event calendar that was T2 and it was T's. And I had about the last six or seven days to review. So I'm going to review those now. So we will start with day 18. Day 18 was Jade Mountain. It was a flavoured green tea. Now, if you're new to the channel, I can't drink green tea. It upsets my stomach and usually Thing tries this for me. But when I opened this, I really liked the aroma and I made it for him. I thought, I'll have a sip. He didn't end up getting it. You could barely taste the green tea. It was really nice and it did not upset my stomach. So I quite like this one. Um, day 19, chai. T2 chai is one of my favourite chai teas, if not the favourite. It's not overly sweet. I really like it. So I'm going to rave about this anyway. Yes, I enjoyed that hot. Day 20 was just peppermint. Now, I did give this to Reeves, my son. He drinks peppermint tea. It helps his asthma. And um, he wanted to try this for me. Well, when he made it, the whole room smelled of peppermint, which isn't unpleasant. But, well, it was a strong smelling. He also said it was strong peppermint tasting. He didn't mind it, but he preferred the Twinings peppermint tea. This was a little heavy on the peppermint. So then we came to pumping pomegranate for day 21. Ta -da! I love pomegranates and they're hard to get here. However, when I opened this, it smelt fruity. I made this hot with no milk, just drank it hot. It just tasted fruity. There wasn't a strong pomegranate flavour. It is a nice tea, but um, it could use some more pomegranate to give it that flavour. So then we came to one I'd never heard of. Singapore breakfast. Now this is a flavoured black and green tea. And I thought, oh, this will be for thing. But I did go to make it for me when I opened it. No, no, no. It says it has all these coconut flavours and essences and, you know, toast flavour and green tea. Well, when I opened it, it smelled really strongly like hazelnuts. And I do not like hazelnuts. I did make the thing. He liked it. He said it was a very nutty flavour. It was smooth. It wasn't a strong green tea flavour. And it didn't have the bitter aftertaste of black tea. I get hiccups. You'll get used to that. So there you go, Singapore breakfast. So then day 23 is the sleep tight tea. I've had this before. It is a real nice lemony, light scented tea, refreshing. Um, you have it late at night hot and it's relaxing. It is a great tea. So then Christmas Eve was Christmas breakfast tea and I've lost the bag too excited on Christmas Eve. It's a red bag. Um, I've had that before. Christmas breakfast tea. I had it Christmas morning. It's all spicy like Christmas, nutmeg, cinnamon, ginger, all those flavours. I love it. It is a really nice tea to have on Christmas morning. So they're the last of the teas. I really enjoy the tea advent calendar. If I was to pick a favourite out of the last lot, it would be the chai. I can't go past it. I love the chai tea. That would be my favourite. The advent calendar was a gift from a friend. So thank you to that person. They know who they are. They know how much I enjoyed it. I hope in 2022 I find an advent calendar that has yarn. I wouldn't mind doing like one that has yarn and a pattern that you continue on with and, and do something like that. Or even try... There was a cheese advent calendar here locally that I didn't get into. And even a coffee one. That might be nice. But yeah, I did enjoy opening the advent calendar and discovering different things about different teas. Because everybody knows I'm a tea addict. I love tea. So there you have it, guys. That's my summary and catch up. Hopefully the weather will improve and we'll have some nice sunshine. Um, we've been watching a bit of television and we actually did go to the movies 
um, on a fine day to see a movie at the movie theatre. But I'll tell you about that in another video because even going to the movies is quite the chore during this pandemic. Well, until next time, stay safe, stay well, take care of yourself. And remember, you could have a yarn adventure with me if you want to check out Rock 2022 AU. Bye for now.